Hello, welcome to this first 3D tutorial in which we'll be creating an interactive web application uh, with uh, the possibility to change materials on it and playing some animation. Applications of such kind can be used uh, to present uh, some products on websites uh, to power online stores, to create uh, e-learning materials and uh, various interactive applications for actually for any kind of human activity. So we'll be using Blender. Um, Blender 2.80 beta but you can also use the older version of Blender uh, version uh, 2.79 as well and we start by running the app manager the app manager can be run by clicking the corresponding button which is located on the top but actually it can be located uh, on the bottom as well here uh, we are run the app manager by clicking it and what we can see here is uh, the list of all applications which are present in our verse 3d applications folder verse 3d applications uh, with uh, each line here corresponding to some folder containing files for this application. So let's create a new application. We'll be create, creating a, uh, a new application using this dialog. And let's uh, name it Night Stand. Uh, we'll leave the other settings by default, create go to the main screen back and here we'll see our application added to the list with uh, the folder created in verse 3d applications folder so let's see what's inside here we got a blend file which we can run from here uh, we got some other files which are necessary to run this application and let's run it we'll run it by clicking on the blue icon here run and it will just display a default code still it is interactive it is uh, good looking with a full screen button uh, so uh, let's start with our application. Uh, Verse 3D application workflow looks as follows. So we usually work in Blender most of time. So we can open our newly created nightstand.blend file in Blender. Check that we got uh, the default cube. For example, we can change uh, the shading. So yeah, this uh, actually a cycle. So we can change it to EV, and it will work much faster. So what we want is uh, we want this file. Uh, to modify this file so that it contains. Um, the model of our nightstand with all the options with materials with textures with lighting with environment and after we create all this scene here in blender we just export it to view in the browser so we do it by using the export option export versus 3d gltf 
after that our change will be our changes will be available here and we can run them here so this is the basic workflow so we could begin from modeling our nice stand model but we don't want really this is uh, not a modeling tutorial this is a verse 3d tutorial so i suggest we start from some pre-made files so by the link below this video you will be able to download uh, the starter kit uh, which contains uh, a single blend file and three textures for wood options and this um, black and white image for masking uh, which we'll be using in uh, uh, the process of creating this uh, web application so if we open this starter file just to check it so uh, I got this starter file here open it and we'll see that we got a nice stand already modeled consisting of uh, several parts a drawer uh, legs body and here we got a big model for the floor and the environment this one this big model so we'll be using with uh, these models uh, to start creating our virtual 3d application how do we do it uh, let's reset and we do it by copying all these starter files to the folder uh, which we just created using the app manager nightstand folder here so let's copy so we click copy and here paste right and we got here our textures our new blend file and uh, the problem is that uh, the application still believes that this nice stand a blend file with the default cube is uh, the main blend file for this application so the application we will be working with this blend file instead of our new blend file so we want to replace the default group with our starter file how do we do it we can just delete the nightstand blend file and rename our new file just nightstand so let's do it deleting and renaming night stand alternatively we could uh, just open our default uh, cube in blender and append our model from the starter file but we prefer to just to override override so instead of uh, default cube our nightstand blend file will this will contain our models our starter models here and as i already mentioned we need to perform the export operation go to file export and select verse 3d digital tf then click export that's it now let's check if our application updated run it by using the blue icon here and here we see our updated application uh, which we will improve in the next part thank you for watching